Yo, you guys wanted to see part two of this, so we're actually gonna watch. Okay, let's, let's do like 1.25. Watch the game between Dante's and Ekerin. As far as the uh, jungle matchup goes, I think Jarvan has a massive edge on Ekerin early game, so I'd like Agreed. to see the Jarvan invade. Also, I have no clue why Dante's around phase rush. This game's an easy conquer game. So many melee team divers on the enemy team. Low range DC. Okay, holy shit, I can't do that. I need it's, it's new to it needs it needs to be normal. I can't. Also, Q's well in phase rush. He loves hiding. He thinks Hecarim is utilized with like mostly Q's and like no Q autos in between, which makes sense. But, but a game he, like this, he, he's, he's watching the game that we won, right? Because we lost one and we won one. He wards his blue here, which is very good. If you start a cross map from your blue side, you should always ward your blue. Champs like for can EQ over the wall for red buff and. Don't agree. I don't like. I don't think this watch should be here. If you're scared of a cheese like this, let's say you're Dante's, you start red, you do the full clear, and then you're scared of something like this, for example, against Kindred. I don't think you should be warding here. I think you should be warding like here, where you see like this and this. Or I like to ward right behind the pit. Unless people saw see this ward, they will not go the extra mile to go this way. Like if they have a dash champ, they will jump, just jump over the wall. And then you see them like 20 seconds earlier than here. You'd be uh, basically out of the game because you can take your blue gromp level 3, camp you here, and then if he has problem at top or just... But I also think this cheese is not good. I would never do this cheese because I don't think it's that worth. Like, I will not... I, like, Hecarim won't die. I mean, you can get this camp, you can get this camp, yeah. And then you like, you start hitting Hecarim, yeah, but he won't die. He has face rush. He has ghost. You will not kill him. Then you need, like, you need to have privos, right? Will you have prize this game? I think you might have top lane. So, and then you need to wreck like, or base or whatever. Hacker will base as well. Then you already have a non-efficient farming because Hacker, if he did this, 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 he already has three camps in like that will respawn and then maybe the Grump as well. And if, if, and you don't have this respawn, you don't have this respawn with a, with a higher level. So it's not, I don't do this shit. This happens to me a lot and I honestly don't care that much. The, the most important part is not dying here. If you don't die here, it's not that bad. Dante's Alex to start Raptors here, and Silas scouts him, so they know he started Raptors very high, high chance, right? He didn't drop a ward. We're gonna skip forward a bit for the early game. Agron starts red. Typically, Agron does red side full clear. I don't see him level three getting often on J4. I see him typically full clear. He stopped going two points Q, so they're going like a point of W now. It's a bit healthier. Correct. And now, so Dante sees this guy on his Raptors. He knows for a fact he'd invade. That's the path I told him to do if he thinks an invade in game. But this, this is normal pathing, right? I just did, like, honestly, I just didn't expect Dantes to have the balls to invade, like because this was the first time I met like I played against him, uh, like since since the, since your vest and in your vest he wasn't doing this shit, so I was like just chilling. But this is a normal start, like this happens every single other game in Korea. But Lee Sin just does as this 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 and invades, and if he has what prayer, yeah, he can invade. But I just didn't expect it in this game. Like because I'm surprised an invade here. It looks like. So I mean. Silas do doesn't really have prior, right? Silas can move first if he can crash the cannon wave. Yeah, but I'm not sure if he, if he will be lot. able to. So, Dantes goes to enemy blue buff. Bot has prior. I mean, he can, he can, yeah, he can. He just traded better. But yeah, Bot has for sure prior, so... Yeah, this is, this invade is actually fine. I completely agree that this invade is fine. And what I should do is, I think I should clear the wolves in a way where I, like... And then wait afterwards. I don't, like, I don't go instantly here. I need to have my spells ready for the fight. I, I can just show you. Three mages left on the cannon crash. This guy should use a stack on the cannon if he can. It's a bit hard for him to walk up. But... Because he's just waiting there, right? Dante's just waiting for him to finish his wolves. So honestly, this looks kind of bad, I'm not going to lie. Because it looks like an enemy bot can move before the crash, and enemy mid can move as well. If he wants to, right? I mean, this is correct, like, but it's only a small window. It's only a small window. We'll see if he EQs over the wall. So yeah, this is this is the mistake I am doing because I don't know that because I don't expect dancers to invade. If I was playing versus a random Korean guy, they do this every single day, like game. I I would not flag here. Here then he'll win the one v one because he doesn't have spells. Yeah, correct. I don't have spells, so I get fucked. If I have spells, I out deck him. I EQ him. He's knocked. Like I I take this self. He takes this self. I walk away, and then Pryo decides who gets this area. Even if my bot lane had Pryo. And could move. I don't think they they will be because my health is just so low. So yeah, this is not. This, yeah, it's my mistake. I used his E to ch check it and pull it. I guess. And he bought like uh, not or as hold the wave, and Sal. But yeah, Sal is moving. I I think I told him not to because I just realized I made a mistake and I, I want to give this. It's okay. I fucked up. It's okay. Was rotated nothing. So big, big lead for Dantes. 
And it looks like J4 is going to run to enemy top side. I think I have two options here, which is base and go top side, or just run top side, right? I was very sure that he would take the Gromp, so I, I, I was like, oh, okay, I'll take blue. I think in the middle of the play, I was like, hmm, what if he doesn't take Gromp and just bases and comes, you know, to try to kill me? So I, I only took blue. He's too low to gank top lane because he can easily die. So he just wants to do blue buff ASAP. If it was a bit healthier, he can easily just skip camps. I would, I would never do that. <laughs> yeah, I don't do that. Because I, it doesn't really look like Poppy will die. To, to me, it doesn't look like she will die. Even if I was like 3 fourth. Because if I go top here, I will give him time to take all these three camps. I will be a level down. James, GG. Even, even if like, maybe we might get the skill. And the skill is not guaranteed. So this is his, this is his, this is his, this is his. And then he has this, this afterwards. Like he's, he's going to be like five and a half. And yeah. I will like ding four on these. So I mean, if J4 just ran top here. I think... Uh, yeah, this thing I will only do after I get this and this because then I know this and this I, I like I cannot risk Grump because he could base after blue and not do Grump so he could base so I can't risk that this is fine doing the scuttle afterwards is fine and then afterwards we can look for something based off HP he would die and that's why I think Agrin didn't gank this LC would have ganked this right his laners are pretty low and he's low as well so I assume he's gonna smite this thing to the crab on spawn. He doesn't have to auto that. I know his Agarin, like he's good at clearing, but he wastes a lot of autos. They fixed the uh the one HP. You know that like when your burn hits it to one, but he has red buff as one. Red buff I mean, kills he's, he's, now, he's correct. Buffs. He's correct. I didn't need to auto. I don't play perfectly all the time, you know. Extra sure autos early game do matter because their attack speed's so low. Extra milliseconds will uh can pay a you know price. Agarin, so. I, I I I mean I spoke about this in the vlog review. Sorry, I'm mumbling, but he did crab here just to heal off of it. I'm pretty sure he didn't hit level four here either. So I think he just did this to heal. And Dante decides to run top here. So what Dante should do here is let's say he runs here and sees his blue's gone. If he thinks he can respond to top lane, but I don't think they ever win. They never win here because he should know J4 stop side, right? If Jar if if Lee or Hecarim smart, he should know Jarvan stop side or ganking mid or ganking top, right? So I'm not really sure why he elected to go top side, because this, this lane is losing. He got soaked out of the uh, XP range. But shouldn't, shouldn't but look at mid lane. Like either, mid lane has such good setup, and if Jarvan comes mid, he'd play the 2v2 mid lane, way better chance, and he can also play for transition gank bottom instead. Right? And his but yeah, we, like, he, she should probably not look for the top lane, but if he, if he thinks he's like stronger than me, and I mean, he only has a tier. Yeah. If he, if he, bought, a bo if he bought boots or something like a long sword, then it's maybe, it's maybe okay. So this is the play where I don't really understand why he entered top river. But yeah, he just it, uh, uh, his point is for sure valid. Right? He should just he's gonna like, walk be up like top. fucked up. This guy already yeah, dies. Right here, should... like, you know this guy's dead and this guy's on crab. This play is dead. You have two options. You go back to your top side camps, which I mean, it might be, even be hard because J4 knows you're on them and his top is uh, Exodia. I mean, your top has TPI. Okay, but there's no, like, like what? No, no way I go, I do more. <laughs> Taking the Gromp is free. Why? Poppy just died. That's why it's free, because Poppy will like be here in 10 seconds with items, and if I'm here, I'm gonna die. Mid lane is about to all in here, which I think is... So, yeah, Dan is just making this... this his out the thing is, Dan is just like going in while the window is still open, like it's a very, very small window, but he's like still doing it. He decides to 1v1 Jarvan, which he never wins by the way, early game, he bought a tier, so he's weaker, and this guy has... He has his E attack speed, he has his Conqueror, he'll never I mean, this, lose this is true, though, yeah. Agarin plays this pretty slow, I mean, he just... Runs away, which is fine. Plays slow, which is good, I guess. His W hits. This guy's dead. But he, he also doesn't see the face rush proc? Why is no one talking about the face rush proc? Bruh! Like, what are you... What? Why are they missing that? This is such an insane play. Yeah, I was I was very proud of myself that I managed to do that. So, imagine he was mid lane here. Let's say he just ran mid lane right now, instead of going on the aggro. He could have pinged mid on the way, and then maybe his gal would have been a bit more patient, and... Unless Silas identifies what's happening and is like, he's, Silas is under pressure. He doesn't have really uh, much time to look at the map, right? And see like Hecarim walk through uh, the river. He can easily like kill him. Because this is like six tower shots if uh, this guy doesn't hit the wave, right? Six I mean, this, two tower this shots is for sure correct. So, I don't know why I went for this. Exists, really random. I agree. Then he dies. Mid play exists for so, sure. So top lane TP'd, lost infinite top lane, mid lane TP'd. Now he TP's, I mean, and he died before that, and I mean, the TP's back. I mean, the so, game is already over. <laughs> maybe see what he does here now. Yeah, the game is now GG. From his perspective. 
He's level three at four, four and a half minutes, which is uh, unfortunate. Enemy team should Jarvin's bot side, which he is. I mean, I, I mean, later now is GG. Yeah, that's it. That's legit. It. So I know Agron wants to reset here because he has gold for items, but he can literally just deny Hecarim's next like minute here because Hecarim wants to cash this wave because he's scared to enter his jungle because he knows Jarvin's here, right? And if Agron's keeping track of enemy junglers, uh, pathing he knows he three captain and invade right so he did raptors with krugs okay, but the, so he knows yeah, raptors don't do that no 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 this is another this is but this is the same thing as just with a poppy what happened this one died this one died what will happen they will have home guards they died they will be back on the map like they're still there but what ha what needs to happen is they need to pace and come back they are like 20 seconds slower than these guys okay i could cheese away a camp while he like while he farms what i could do that but in my, like, it's not worth. Honestly, it's not worth. Because it's just less efficient to f walk from here to here, then base, and then farm, than to just f base, farm, and have time for something else. If I do this, Dantes will be there to maybe contest the camp. Add to the dragon. If I don't do this, I am now 20 seconds ahead of Dantes, with item advantage, so I'm even clearing faster, and then I have, these 20 seconds will give me the dragon. He said you could have done the crux. Yeah, yeah, I can either do crux or raptors, like both, right? I can do one camp, but no, it's not worth. In my head, it's not worth, because I'm thinking long term. This one camp, yeah, I took away from him something nice, but it's not worth. In my head, it's not worth. Prince oh, and yeah, this, yeah, and this, this dragon. Board. Yeah, you I see, think if he went mid lane, so you, you see this dragon. This, do you guys know how much money this dragon is worth? This is a fucking pentakill for your team. Okay, it got nerfed, but it's still broken. It's like, yeah, it's like 1.5 to 2k, depending on TCO, right? right? Fuck the 100 gold! <laughs> Fuck the 100 gold! I'm not really sure why he is farming. It's like... How many seconds do I now have for the dragon? I have 8 until he bases, and like 15 until he's on the map. It's exactly what I said. Like around 20 seconds ahead of Dante's. This is something I cannot do if I take Raptors. Then we will be on the same timer on Dragon, and he can probably engage me while I'm Dragon. Like, maybe my teammates are, like, having really hard prior, so it won't be contestable. So no, doing an invade is not a mistake. It would be a mistake to do an invade. There's, there's zero time wasted, like, Time's absolutely zero. Krugs are spawning, and Agron has smoke. But you deny Hecarim. Guys, it, it's useless. The overall gold difference will be higher. I am efficient in taking this Dragon at the end. Yeah, people might not like it, because it's PvE. I don't give a shit. It wins me the game. You can disagree with it. Then I, I will think you're wrong. You know, Tatsan might think you're correct. But I will think you're wrong. And okay, we can agree to disagree. Put his camps on cycle before doing dragon or ganking. Because like, if Agron's keeping track, he should know where the jungler is. He sees a kill angle bottom. That's the only way he'd ever go bottom here. Which, I mean... Oh yeah, by the way, I, th I think going bot lane here is probably like... Just terrible. Yeah, I, I, I changed my plan, right? I changed my plan. Because I went bot lane instead of dragon. Like, I have time now, and now I can, I can decide what I do with my time. I generated time by basing here. And then I did not take the dragon. Instead, bot lane looked very juicy. So I was like, okay, maybe we, like, we can kill bot first. And then take the dragon instantly. Right? They decided to walk up here. Yeah, we kill the, I think we kill the Kaiser, and then we get the wave, and then so, we get the dragon. So, personally, I the dragon there. That's still an RNG coin flip play. Yeah, he is completely correct. This is something... Well, you know, your own intuition will will make you consider going down or not. My intuition said, oh, Galio is going down, so they like might keep going in because they made themselves. This is this is only intuition. This is not something you know. Uh, and yeah, I can agree. Dragon is very good there, and uh, but going bot lane is uh, you know not guaranteed. It only works if they make the mistake of going in. They're hoping enemy team is really bad and goes into me, which they did. I mean, he's there to punish, so. They got infant from that, which honestly, you should never get anything from, in my opinion. Yeah. I'm eager to see what Agrion does now. He has, what, 800 gold? Dante doesn't really enter the game at this point. It's only an 18 minute game, damn. I mean, <laughs> it's going to be a lot longer. But... If we rush the dragon now, before any bot comes back, it's okay. But yeah, I, I would rather do this dragon when Dante is not even close, when he needs, still needs to base. And yeah, now I think now the dragon is still okay. I think uh, I feel like he's, he has BF, he's strong, he can hit. No, this this contest, by the way, 
if you play it slow enough, can work. I completely agree. It can work. I think the dragon will be dead until then. But afterwards, it's I think it, like it can be worth a shot because like like I said, he has tempo on me. Gra Gragas and Rel are even. He, like she's a little bit ahead, but yeah, tempo wise they're even. Aphelos is behind in tempo against Kaiser. And Galio is ahead. So they have three tempo heads and one tempo behind uh, even. I think this is not a bad play. Uh, the dragon buff may change the team fight. Mm, nah. Like it'll be there's just you know. It's, it's, it's not an Elder Dragon. It's not a soul. It's just a little bit. But the, the tempo thing matters way more than the, like, I don't know, 300 gold you get from the dragon. Like, each one will get 300 gold, right? Worth of stats. That's like time wasting me. Yeah, I'm grieving. <laughs> yeah, this is, this is a mistake. Going in here is a, is a mistake, by the way. Now we need to get the fuck out. We can't go in. And I, I just killed the Gragas. Did I, do Gragas I die for like this? Gragas. No, I just need to play. Okay, yeah. Then I realized a mistake and I, oh fuck, I made a mistake. I mean, it looks like he's just waiting for something to happen. You know what I mean? Like, no. Here? Yeah, I'm just... this, was just a, this was just a mistake. I think I lived. This oh. Is the problem. oh, and then, I mean, enemies then went in. By the way, this fight took long enough that the decider is now back. And yeah, they were like this was a bad position, so this still works for us. Like, but yeah, it, this is a good fight to take, by the way, for blue team. They kind of like they just didn't play it correctly, I guess. But it's actually a good play. Um, yeah, my, like maybe even Galio if he moves earlier, it's, it's good. Yeah, 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 look, Galio's a queuing mid wave. Yeah, 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 I should die here. I make a mistake. I should die. He's very good at his play style, but like, he's made two very. Simple dis like mistakes. This play here, the EQ, and then the, the not taking the croc camp. Which which was the first one? I don't know. Like, does he mean the EQing on the Gargots? That I agree on being a mistake. Simple dis like mistakes. This play here. The EQing, yeah, that was a mistake. Yeah, 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 I agree. I agree. It was a mistake. But yeah, the second one is not a mistake. It would be a mistake what he says, in my opinion. The EQ and then the, the not taking the croc camp, which I'd be very uh, intrigued to hear his opinion on that, like why he didn't do it. Yeah, I mean, I just, I just think if it's way like ahead. A tank jungler, I guess I just, I, I guess I just think way, way ahead. Jungler, like I don't know, Maokai Sejuani, maybe that's why you wouldn't take the. But like Hecarim's a carry champ, right? With the setup he's going, so I don't really know. And they overchase, and then Silas is out of base with tempo advantage. He's level seven, it's unkillable into enemy comp, and they just get absolutely obliterated. This is what Jarvan excels in these slow, slow paced fights. I don't know why he would ever do this. Again, he's so behind. I've talked to him about this. Like, just farm your camps to cure level 6 and play for something else. Why are you here when- I mean, yeah, this is just- this looks very bad. I don't know what the other is- yeah, this, Like, there's, there's not even an option. Like, he can't even kill him. It doesn't matter what happens, he will not kill him. You have no camps and you're so behind. This oh is my. really, really, there's really- a, The Rumble knows they can't win 2v1. Yeah. I think a, a bronze player here is a Rumble can 2v1 on this health bar, yeah. right? Look at this. Items, items, three and zero. Oh, level five heck with a tier. Yeah. Why is he even here? His entire bot sides up. Secure level six. Sack the rift. Play for his blue. Play for a play mid. Play for a play bottom. I don't know. You're like you're so behind. This is the one champ in the game that can easily two one at like almost any uh, jungle top in the game. If he's ahead, which I mean he's just laughing here. He's like, what are these guys doing? The entire game is open up for Agarin. Uh, this is a mistake by Agarin. I don't like this guy's style. I, this is really bad. And I've talked about this so many times. Okay, he, he probably wants me to like to go somewhere, right? He probably wants me to, yeah, do this or do this or like dive top or do something. Yeah. Okay, I, I understand it because I think I'm, yeah, I'm so strong I can do that. What is, sorry, what does this Krug camp accomplish for you? It's efficient. 100 gold and let's look at his XP bar. Yeah, it doesn't give me anything. Like it doesn't get me to a new spike. I completely agree. But like, what I want to do is like fuck topside. Honestly, I just I just farm the camps and like get the whole bot turret with the next play. Like, there's zero risk in this play, and it will win us the game. But I do agree, you can you can probably just do it, like rush Herald. You can just rush Herald, like rush topside camps, like rush rush this rush this dive. You can do all these things, and I I am pretty sure all of them will work. At this point, it doesn't matter what you what you're doing, right? At this point, yeah. And he's gonna try to argue, hey, my point is better. Because, hey, because, you know, boom, boom, boom. And I'm gonna say, uh, I mean, yeah, you're right, but yeah, this is also GG. And there will be there will be games where you're not that far ahead, 
where the boom 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 will actually lose you the game. And I own, like the thing is, I only start leaving my clear after I see him because if I didn't, he I like I was expecting him to farm from bot to top, um, and I was like, okay, I'll just farm from top to bot and then dive bot, and I get the turret. This was like my idea, but yeah, after I see him fucking up, then I'm like, okay, I guess I have to punish you. So I stop the clear. I start to you know crush his skull <laughs> or whatever he would do red so his reds off the map so he has extra true damage right and if he enters a fight he's a lot stronger and out of a fight he has regen as well which i mean obviously better late game but i mean you don't need to argue about winning fights because we are gonna win fight every fight for, for me it's just gold generation is more like right now just gold generation is more important than winning a fight because you win anyways every fight right now irons should be playing for an uh, invade top side a dive top set or the rift? His support's mid again. This this guy's support's been god tier this game. Why are you wasting tempo on the on the Krugs? Okay, yeah. He's exactly saying what I you know. Yeah, I could have. Anything else is fine, but I'm a little bit lazy. He might he might think this was my plan doing Krugs into Scuttle. That's a bullshit plan. The, but the plan was not. The plan was doing this. It's it's gonna be better in the long run. I this is something that I have learned about like over a lot of games like. This Herald is good, but actually if all of your camps are up and all of enemy camps are up and enemy bot lane is getting pushed in, fuck the Herald. You just full clear, you take what's left here, you, contact, you take this and this ward, and then you legit will get the whole turret because you will be at least one or two levels ahead. Enemy bot can't play and the game is just over. Because, like, yeah, you can say, oh, he wants to fight the crab, but he could have just gone to the red buff and been closer to the crab and been stronger for the crab fights. And now he's just dead because his J4 has ults. Yeah, he's, he's exactly saying what I said. Yeah, I, yeah, if my plan was fighting for the crab, yeah, I should have taken the red buff. This is something you only know afterwards. Because in pre sight you don't know what Tekken is going to do. So you, you start to make your plan. I changed my plan because I'm like, oh, okay, I guess I will just kill him. I, don't, I think that's a misplay as well. I don't think he ever presses R here over EQ. Mm, could be true, yeah. I'm actually really surprised that Igren's playing this game. I'm very surprised. Typically, the combo on J4 is going to R people on EQ, but like he's just CC'd. Yeah, it could be true that my EQ is enough here. Yeah, it could be true. And then like maybe at the end you ult. Yeah, maybe. Like if he's like getting out. Oh, his oh. EQ's down. Okay. Yeah, okay. Then... Okay, gotcha. That's yeah, fine. then yeah, yeah. Then it's good. Yeah. So he uh, gets a kill. Hecarim's top side is all up. He decides to not invade and take Rift, which I completely agree with, because they're going to be reset our base. Rumble wants to reset a lot of gold, yeah, right. and Rift is a guaranteed play. I don't know. I just feel like Dante's played this game terribly. I feel like Agrim could have played a lot better with how his teammates were playing like towards him, how they're winning the map pretty hard. But this is the problem now, because like he's going to farm his red, and now he's going to want to reset his 1,000 gold and play for bot quadrant, right? So like... Having red buff for that fight? Sorry, just got a sword. It'll be, I guess maybe he's gonna leave it up or just make a play top, red into top, I assume? No, I think it's just base off the red. He uses E to last thing instead of E to pull. Okay, I mean, this makes zero sense. I'm gonna be honest, it makes zero sense. Instead of E to pull, Does it? It'll be, I guess maybe he's gonna leave it up or just make a play top, red into top, I assume? So he's, he's trying to say, I shouldn't have eaten that, I shouldn't have eaten, I should have eaten that, and altered like the last three ones. I mean, yeah, it could make like a difference, maybe, I'm not actually sure, uh, a mistake, but I think at this time I'm literally just a little bit lazy. But this, this is a lot, like a very nitpicky, I gotta say, like yeah, it could be a very small mistake. No, the thing is, he is correct, like in a, in a, in a game, where you really, really want to win, you should be, you should be perfecting. You should be, per you're looking to perfect. Like I said, his style is good, but he makes so many mistakes, which is odd to me. Dante has like just lost this game on his own, and here's the same concept yet again. Out of base, strong as hell. If he doesn't think he can pressure anything, if no one's on the map, sure. Okay, but okay, but, but like, look okay, at the vision set okay, okay, okay. Instead of saying pressure anything, he should tell the exact play. It's very vague and kind of useless and no one can argue against you if you say pressure something. It's just like saying, oh, just gank somewhere. 
Like, it's very useless. The only thing I can say is, like, maybe there's, like, no pressure on the map yet, but, like, there kind of is because this guy wants to push this cannon, so he could have been mid lane faster here. If he wants to queue this cannon, you'd be, like, walking behind him or walking through here and, like, you know, EQing. But we could also just, I mean, he would get chunked, but he wouldn't, like, die either way. I don't know. I think over farming's bad. Okay. <laughs> I don't know why I saw that, but okay. And that was a fight bottom, where Agarin, in my opinion, is playing the wrong side of the map. He should be playing bot side here, with how fat his bot lane is. Five plates. Five okay, plates. I mean, he is, he is probably correct on that. Bottom. But uh, I just wanted to make sure that Silas is there as well, because Galio does have ult. So, you know, if you don't go... The thing is, if you if you go to bot lane first... Like, okay, imagine everything is even. Okay, because the, the argument you're going to make in this game is going to be different because, yeah, they're fucking strong. But imagine the game is even. What you're going to do is if you just go bot lane instantly, the Galio is just going to ult bot lane. And then you will have a 3v4, which is, you know, less good than a 3v3 or a 4v4. So what you do is you go mid first. You make sure that Silas is close. He doesn't need to be there instantly, but he's at least close. So this is why I make mid first. But it's the same thing against TF, you just don't gank bot against the TF ult, because then, oh, if the jungler is there, it's 3-4, it's bad. I'm, by the way, oh, I'm, I'm too, I'm too, I'm putting too much energy in this video. I think I will call it, guys. I won't, I won't do the rest. Yeah, so, summary, I th uh, yeah, I think Tarzan did, like, see some mistakes I did, but he also doesn't like didn't understand my bigger plans like at the at this one and at this one he didn't understand but yeah this was a mistake and i think there was a second one <laughs> yeah the, the e on the raptors maybe yeah that was a small mistake as well yeah i need to talk less my voice is starting to run away from me again